Hi, I'm John the Engineer, Guinness Record for most elections contested, most elections lost, running in the St. Paul, Ontario by-election right now. And there was a fracas at the meeting that happened on Thursday night because I told them in advance that at meetings, all candidates should get to comment on every question, and the moderators had set it up so that they wanted their people to ask only four of the candidates, the big four, questions, and exclude the others. So I told them that if I'm excluded from a debate, a debate, my standard practice is to leave the stage and go do my political thing directly. So they knew what was going to happen. Well, first person asked the question, and just as the big four have finished answering and it gets to the libertarian candidate, the moderator cuts him off and says, we don't need any more answers. I said, hey, that's not fair. And then he just went on to the next question. And, of course, the nice lady asks for the answers only from the big four. So at that point, I got up. Here's what happened. I'd like to ask specifically um, Mr. Hoskins and each of the Conservative, NDP, and Green Party to respond. What specific steps will they take to ask for transparency and proper accountability of reporting on how public education money is spent? And I'll go back and I can answer to Mr. Hoskins. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you for that question, Cindy. You and I met for some time yesterday this morning talking about this very important issue. Uh, I have a, um, I, my wife and I, are, are, we have a four-year-old son, and my wife, uh, they want the liberal to talk. My wife actually you. went not in the uh, Only the, the liberal, the Tory, the NDP, the Green. We have a choice of opportunity to put our son Reese into French oh. version next year uh, when he's in uh, senior kindergarten. Uh, I do understand as well that uh, an agreement has recently been reached between the federal and Ontario governments to provide additional funding for French language instruction, including French immersion. Uh, I, I share your concern that that, that, that there is currently no requirement that funding that being provided from the provincial government to uh, school boards, including the Toronto District School Board, there's no requirement that those funds be spent or earmarked or spent specifically on the programs that you speak of. Uh, I also know that Minister of Education Kathleen Wynne is undertaking a review over the course of the next year. And more locally, more locally the Toronto District School, school Board also is... ...considerable waste in the system and demanded accountability. And I look at the education system 11 years later and nothing much has improved. So it is an extremely important issue to me. As I, I said, said, you don't ask me questions. Time. I'm not sitting and up there with the other morons. And something I would like to get myself my head into a lot, lot of Thank you. When will I learn to take my cheating like a man? Um, this is directed to Hoskins. Oh, no. And our other class, Pastor Robin Miller. And Lenny. Alright, um, this, in this week's Canadian, uh, Hoskins, and then comments from Hunter and Lenny. Come back when you got a bag. Mr. Hoskins. 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 Mr. the issue of a public debt, and I believe in one publicly funded system, and extreme equality in that system. Wait my turn, he said. Yes, sir. <laughs> Wait my turn. Have some respect for the people who excluded me. Yeah, sure.
The guy barring my way is Jim McIntosh, libertarian organizer. He's in favor of the moderators having the liberty to cheat me and his his candidate. The guy behind him coming up with my stuff, that's the moderator, McMillan, taking my stuff hostage, about to throw it out. These are the guys really itching to put me out. And there goes Macmillan to put my stuff outside, where anyone can steal my treasures. My Guinness record, my Daily Journal, my United Nations with Clinton picture. And now we see Macintosh physically barring my movement, <laughs> a criminal offense. So now he's heard me explain how it's not a criminal offense trespassing and he can't do a citizen's arrest. So he's changing his mind. Finally, one man asked for comments from all the candidates, so I had to go back on stage to answer. Okay, why don't we start with one exception? 
then the next guy excluded me, so I had to leave the stage, go back to do my up and down the aisles for the rest of the show until the end when I was invited back. Well, I had to go back to do my last closing statement. <laughs> So the whole 25 minutes of the highlights with my speeches and longer portions are over at MySpace channel, King of the Poppers, if you want to see the whole thing.